Hey, it's Mark Komen from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's Be Creative Day 14. And I, did hide it. I decided today to do something I'm not comfortable with. In our Inspirational Images class at Creative Photo Academy, we're studying Edward Weston. Edward Weston did a lot of tabletop setups. And I'm never really good at setting them up. They always look too fake to me. But I was inspired today. My wife's making chili and the onions and the garlic were there and I saw the light on them and this is gonna be a great picture. So I took one of the plates, put them on the bowl, put them on the plate here in the, uh, on the dining room table. I took our blanket from the, the, from the den, put it on the table, and I've got the beautiful light coming in, lighting, the, the, lighting my setup. Got the Canon EOS R, 24 to 105 lens at 105. I've got a tight shot right here. And what do I like? I really like the way the light is playing here off the end of the bowl and off of the onions and the garlic. I've got this beautiful line here with the onions and the light on it. So what am I going to do? Am I going to frame it up right here? Notice the camera's on a tripod. Why is the camera on a tripod? ISO 400. I'm going to start at f-stop 16. So my shutter speed at f-16 is a 20th of a second. There's no way I can hold the camera still. I'm focusing right here on the yellow onion at F16. I'm gonna shoot, but if you're gonna hear a beep because the camera's on two second self timer because I don't wanna press the button and have it go click. I want it to delay to make it as steady as possible. I want an awesome picture here. So here we go. F stop 16. So now I'm gonna to go to F stop 22 close the aperture all the way down, get maximum depth of field. Boom, I hit the button. Now my exposure's a tenth of a second. Wow, it's really slow. Now, I've got the shot. I'm not so sure whether I like the white garlic in the front because it's real bright. I'm gonna take it out of the picture and I'm gonna bring the other onions around and just change it up a little bit. So I'm always gonna be adjusting the picture to make it look and feel like I want. And that's what creative photography is all about. Like I said, I'm not a big still life guy, but I'm gonna try this anyway. And I'm gonna try something different because Edward Weston inspired me. And I use that inspiration as a guide, as a tool to help me get the pictures that I want. So there it is. I'm still at F22. Awesome. Bam. One more. Come on. Here we go. Focus. Yep. There we go. Now I'm going to go back to F16. And why do I do this? Why do I just play with the F-stops like that? Because I don't know what it's going to look like. And I wait till I see it on the computer to tell. Back in the film days, we used to say film was cheap. So just shoot the pictures. Digital's even cheaper because it doesn't cost them to say anything until we print. So I've got my image. I'm really happy with what I've got. I hope you learned something today about shooting a still life, how fun and easy this is using window light, one of my favorite lights to photograph. So it's Mark Komen from the Creative Photo Academy, Paul's Photo in the lab at Paul's Photo, inspiring you to be creative. Get out with your camera or get in with your camera. Shoot in your living room, shoot in the dining room, shoot the kids, shoot the pet. We'll get there in a few weeks on how to do pets and people when we do this. Post your pictures, share your pictures. To share with us at hashtag Paul's photo, hashtag Creative Photo Academy, and hashtag we're all together. Because in this, we're all together and our creativity will bring us some light, some fun, some joy while we're being safe at home with our families and doing the right thing. Have fun, everybody. Make some pictures and I can't wait to see them. Talk to you later. Have a great day.